the Aztec civilization. This civilization is one of the greatest Mesoamerican civilizations because their contributions were well documented that help a lot to the development of science. Number one is mandatory education. All well attended schools, especially children, there is the reference of mandatory education. Education was free regardless of the social class. Telpocale schools prepared boys using different weapons for war, while Kalmyka schools prepared the noble boys to be leaders in the military, priesthood, and government. Girls were instructed in the housekeeping religious tradition. Second one is chocolates. Here are the sample. A. A tree named cacao. Second one, Mayan culture influenced as thick. Third one is cacao beans as gold. And the fourth one, Spanish meet the Aztec Empire. Fifth one is chocolate where introduced other parts of yours. Here's the reference of the chocolates. A tree named cacao bearing unusual fruit with vibrant colors produced seeds named Susati that was considered to be a gift from the garden god Kutzjalcoti since the Mayan culture. It was first treated as their primary currency. Later on, it was served as a hot drink from Maya. However, Aztec discovered the process of making it as a cold drink. When Spaniards came to Tenochtitlan, they were welcome and were introduced about the Sukati. Then battles happened because there were tubes and distress. Despite the unfortunate events, chocolate continued to live on and were added some flavors when it was spread to some parts of Europe and like Italy and France. The Antispasmodic Medication, the Asian Aztec Practice Advanced Medicine. The use of herbs and flowers is the way to meet the wide range of medical needs of their community. A passion flower used to prevent muscle spasms and relax muscles that is also helpful in surgery. Aztec doctors thought that the heat would help to sweat out the evil spirits causing the illness. Doctors would suggest putting drops into each nostril twice a day to treat colds. Other medicinal treatments were putting liquid rubber for ear aches, spleen for broken legs, and sprinkled ground up obsidian glass for cuts. This was their advice for pregnant women. Chewing a gum would prevent their child's mouth from swelling, and looking at the sun during an eclipse, it was said that their baby would be deformed if they did. The practice of medicine within the Aztec civilization was a family practice that would be passed down through the generations. The Aztec practice surgeries used herbs and rituals to cure the sick. Chinampa The word Chinampa comes from the Nahuatl or native Mexican word Chinam metal, which means reed or twig mat. Chinampas are a Mesoamerican agricultural system of artificial island or hydroponics that date as far back as the 12th century common era in the region. They were known for their widespread use by the Aztec society, who existed between the 14th to 16th centuries common era. The Chinampas were floating, artificial island gardens that were called floating gardens, but were actually stationary. The gardens were usually constructed side by side with a canal in between them, which gave an illusion of a floating garden. Chinampas were created by interweaving reeds with stakes beneath the lake's surface, creating underwater fences. Usually, rough-like structures were built, then earth and various plant materials were added on the top of create chinampas. They could be a larger or smaller, with an average size of around 30 feet broad by 490 feet long. Along with the other organic material present in the water and the canal system, the water from the lake beneath the ground gave nutrients for the soil. Aztec Calendar 
The Aztec or Mexica calendar is the calendrical system used by the Aztecs as well as other pre-Columbian peoples of central Mexico. It is one of the Mesoamerican calendars sharing the base and structure of calendars all throughout ancient Mesoamerica. Before the fall of the Aztec Empire, the Valley of Mexico employed the Aztec calendar, a calendar based on a Mayan calendar that had a 260-day ritual cycle and 365-day civil cycle just like the Mayan calendar. An organized sequence of 20 named days plus a succession of days numbered from 1 to 123 made up the ritual cycle or Tunapuali. The 20 numbered cycles that made up the ritual year were each associated with a different deity and the 13th day cycle was especially significant for religious practice. Every designated day had a different deity linked with it and scholars think that combinations of the governing deities were employed for divination. There were 18 quarters in the civil year. Invention of the Canoe a dugout canoe was very useful for navigating the canals and lakes surrounding Tenochtitlan. These canoes were made from hollowed out logs burned by fire. The Aztec's main city, Tenochtitlan, was built on an island in the center of a lake. Due to the abundant amount of water, a logical and practical transportation system was canals. Indeed, when the Spanish first saw it, they called it the Venice of the New World. The canals were dug with simple hand tools and canoes were made by burning out the center of the trees. Canoes were made to bring aqueducts link cities together and allow the Aztec to fight prolonged wars with steady supplies. Thus, the discoveries and kind of living of the Aztecs were adopted in other locations of the world until today.